need you to do something that we as human beings are all called to do. Look deeper. See past the picture in front of you and see into the heart. This time of a little boy who cannot speak for himself. I want you to get to know my new friend. This is Leland. He's this week's Wednesday's child. And when you look deeper, see if you can see something special in his eyes. Yes, they do make wheelchairs this tiny. Are you ready for your close-up? Two wheels for the little boy with two leg braces and two little arms learning to push himself into the world. Yeah. A world that hasn't always been kind to one of the smallest among us. He came into care when he was six months old and he's never really had that feeling of family. Emery is Leland's caseworker and today she's his voice in the world. She says two-year-old Leland has proven everybody wrong. It's just showed me the resilience of a child spirit and I think Leland is the embodiment of that. He encompasses that, that um, all children just want love and they want a home and a family and to thrive. He's learning to walk. I mean, we never really imagined that for him um, and now here it is. Here you are, bud. Here you are, superstar. <laughs> Thanks for being our teacher. But you have some curls. <laughs> Business in the front and party in the back. <laughs> Leland is our child. He belongs to us, right? Yes. Um, and I think that we need to take these kids very personally as our own children. Our children, these little ones who wait to be adopted. And yes, our teachers too, while they wait. How is Leland an example of you can do today and you can do tomorrow for somebody other who's hurting? Look at Leland's strength. I think this child embodies what we all have in us, and I think the right family can find that strength to open their hearts and their homes for him. I pray that too. To learn more about Leland and any of the children we feature on Wednesday's Child, go to our website, news3lv.com. From there, we will direct you to our friends at the Adoption Exchange and let you know that all the myths you hear about adoption, most are not true. It's not difficult to adopt and it is life-giving for children. And God bless all the wonderful people that take care of them yep. in the interim too. Yep. Tell and just, their hearts. And you, know, you see how he came into care at the age of six months, how far he's come. Imagine what his life could yeah. be like if he had you at home. I'm looking at you <laughs> as his cheerleader.